start um, talking about healthy marriages, Jason. Let, let's do this. Let's get a broad picture first. What's going on on the landscape of the um, whole marriage and family um, front that we need to just kind of, that may be a little bit alarming to us that we need to realize is happening out there, though? Well, marriage is actually undergoing quite a bit of uh, challenges right now. Mm -hmm. And if you think about the African-American community, right, right now you have roughly 68% of children that are being uh, born to unwed mothers. Wow, and, yes. And that's the issue of fatherlessness. Fa I tell wow. you what, 68% wow. and compared to 29% uh, for some other cultures. Wow. I mean, that's, that's devastating. Yes. It's devastating. No question. You know, when we start looking at that and, and understand that the problem is there, there's no denying that. Talk to us a little bit about things that people don't may not realize when we start, you know, say, hey, okay, the folks didn't get along and they decided to just break the family up. What what else? What are some of those rippling effects, though, Jason, that sometimes we don't realize? Excellent question. Well, right now, if you think about it, when you have an issue of people not staying together, it's destroying the fabric of communities. Mm -hmm. uh, when you think about the family and the traditional role of family and that nurturing, that growing up of the right. children, growing old together, mm -hmm. so many things are being impacted in a negative way. And some things that people don't realize, when you're married, you have a greater opportunity to save more money. You have a greater mm -hmm. opportunity to do things together in life and when you start thinking about the depth of relationships long term right that becomes fractured a lot of people don't mm -hmm. think about the long term when they're older one day and right. they may need a caretaker they may wow. may need someone to still speak into their lives and encourage them and get behind right. them on certain things they're trying to accomplish you don't have that because you're trying to figure out a relationship much later in life as opposed to building upon and going through some trials and, right. and experiencing some difficult things that just take place in life with your mate. If you don't have that, then you're mm -hmm. trying to do this over and over again, trying to figure out right. how yes. I can have a, a deep relationship.